Hi, I'm Roberta Muir, the manager of Sydney Seafood School, and here with me today is one of our favourite chefs, Giovanni Pilu from Pilu at Freshwater. Hi, thanks for having me. Welcome. Now, we're talking about um, festive occasions in Easter, Giovanni. Um, Sardinia, where you come from, is a place where a lot of the foods are tied to different festivities, aren't they? They are, they are. I think the best food comes to the table always, you know, under a special occasion. Uh, in this case, Easter. Christmas is a big one, and mm -hmm. maybe even a wedding or a christening, mm -hmm. something that is attached to maybe a religious festival. Okay. That's when you put the best on the and table. And that makes the occasion all the more special because you're Absolute looking forward to that dish. To, to the dish when it comes around. Of course. Yeah. So for Easter, um, you're an island. There must be great seafood in Sardinia. What, what would you recommend? There is, there is. Look, and I think it's always good to um, you know, keep it simple. Um, something like a crudo mm -hmm. made with you know, some nice fresh swordfish, like this one here uh, that we have, and it's basically finely sliced swordfish with some grapefruit, uh, watercress, and radish. Mm -hmm. And then all I have to do is to finish it off, you know, a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, which I mix with some um, eschalots, which they've been chopped really, really fine. And when you, when you dress up a crudo, especially the swordfish, the swordfish absorbs quite a lot of dressing because otherwise it's too flowering. Okay. I'll make sure that I soak it up with the extra virgin olive oil and maybe just a little sprinkle of salt to finish it off because, as you know, I love salt. Beautiful. So it brings up flavor it does, and maybe it does a little indeed. cracked pepper and that's ready to go. Okay, and that's so simple to put together even yep. for a large group. What would you follow up with as a main course? We're talking about Easter year, okay, yes. so it's a very special occasion. It may come only, you know, once a year that you can have um, a lobster mm -hmm. and I think something like, you know, the rock lobster that comes from traditionally from Alguero, okay. a small town in the north part of the island and it's simply prepared by sickly. The lobster has been boiled and all you do is you have your meat, which you put in a bowl like this, and then you have three or four things. You have some uh, tomatoes, which they're nice and red and ripe. I have some Spanish onions, mm -hmm. which they've been pickled in some uh, red wine vinegar. Lovely. And when I do this, I may drag a little bit of the vinegar because that's part of the dressing sure. when, when you do this. Some fresh parsley, always flat leaf if it's possible. And then, as usual, a little bit of salt and pepper and some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, just uh, again, just a, a, nice, olive oil <laughs> a nice drizzle. You know that I love olive oil? No. Okay. And then you just toss it like this, and all you do is, as you can see how simple this is, you just literally put it back in the shell like this. It doesn't get much easier, does it? Very, very easy. And you know, something like lobster, it's good to just keep it simple. I think that's, that's the key. And this is one of the simplest dishes they you can do with you know something like this with a beautiful rock lobster and then it's ready to go what are we going to drink with it and i'm guessing something like a glass of sardinian vermentino maybe it'll I'm go well i'm thinking yeah salute Thank salute you. e buona pasqua buona pasqua